What's up, Undertoads? This is Jonathan from Classic Game Room, and I've got a special treat for you today. There have been books on video game history for a while now, but there's one book that stands out above the rest as the ultimate resource for video game industry history. It's a big book of history, The Ultimate History of Video Games by Stephen Kent, the story behind the craze that touched our lives and changed the world. It's a really cool book. Just look at the cover. How can you not see that on the shelf and go, wow, that's awesome. The Ultimate History of Video Games is a big book featuring rather extensive interviews with several prominent figures of video game history. Mr. Kent met with guys like Nolan Bushnell of Atari, who later founded Chuck E. Cheese's, Mr. Arakara of Nintendo of America, Al Alcorn, the designer of Pong, and many other industry leaders and employees and engineers of various video game companies. What I like about this book's layout is that each of the interviewees' quotes are presented in a block quote format, allowing you to easily skim through the book to find a quote you like or find a quote from a certain interviewee. It also makes the book extremely easy and comfortable to read since the quotes help break up the multitude of information presented by providing us with a direct source for some of the things talked about. There's a lot of personal anecdotes that you wouldn't read in other history books like this, like how Steve Bristow, also of Atari, and his wife carried a hatchet on their coin collection route since they couldn't carry a gun with them. If I had hundreds of dollars worth of quarters at any given time, I'd be nervous too. I really can't blame them for that, but it's funny to see that quoted here in the book like this. So it's the ultimate history of video games, but what does that really focus on? Well, the answer is everything just about. From Steve Russell's Space War computer game to the creation of the Odyssey to Al Alcorn's quick repair of a home Pong unit for demonstration for the Sears company to the initial problems Nintendo had breaking into the crushed video game market in America, this book really covers it all. But since this book was published in late 2001, it doesn't deal with anything past the beginning of the sixth generation of video games. Also, this isn't necessarily a book about the history of specific video games. There's stuff on the creation of the first Final Fantasy game, for example, and how Square was facing the possibility of bankruptcy, but don't expect a complete and total history of Final Fantasy, or for that matter, many other games. The creation of Pac-Man is touched on a bit, how The Legend of Zelda had a 1-800 number to call if you needed a hint, some fun stuff like that, but the book mainly focuses on the industry of video games, the difficulties it faced in the early 80s, how games got sold to retailers who were very skeptical at first, and other things. And for that matter, this really is the ultimate resource, a bulky 600-some page tome that's incredibly well written and detailed. There's even a section on everyone's favorite countertop console, the Vectrex. If this book seems up your alley, I encourage you, definitely go check it out. It hardly costs anything anymore to pick up online, and there's far more going on inside of the book than I talk about in this video. But it's really worth checking out if you want a detailed overview of how the history of one of the most profitable, interesting industries has evolved over time. From our car's money-back guarantee on unsold NES units to the birth of the Xbox, The Ultimate History of Video Games is a book that belongs in any video game addict's library. Mm -hmm.